Hello everybody, it's me, Get Dave Dio, and we're going to do a channel update. This time, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, so I put some footage of that in there. Thought that'd be maybe fun, because a lot of times there's not anything really that interesting to look at. So I thought, hey, maybe, uh, maybe I'll have a good game, maybe I'll record it. I don't know, well, I haven't even decided what I'm going to splice in there yet. You're looking at Overwatch, probably. I'm not. I'm looking at a big old black screen. It's pretty unimpressive. Anyway, update time. Fire Emblem done. Galactic Civilization 3 Mercenaries underway. Excited to be playing that again. Uh, I'm going to be fiddling with some new recording methods, starting with my recording binge coming in like 10 minutes. So we'll see how that works, but hopefully it'll give us a solution to not particularly performant PC games. Like uh, Galactic Civilization 3, for example, you get a smooth 60 FPS on like the map, and then for some reason, like the diplomacy screen just chugs. And I don't really understand why, aside from like bad memory management or something like that. So I'm gonna try that out, see how it goes. Uh, you know, that's maybe not that interesting to you, but if the recordings are really terrible or way better, let me know. Uh, didn't get a ton done on game stuff. Well, actually, no, I did get quite a bit done, especially today. But I did take five days off for my first vacation of 2016, and that was nice. I still did some paperwork on it. Like, uh, I did some level designing on graph paper, just like they did with Super Mario Bros. back in the day. So... That was pretty cool. It was nice to have a break from the code base, although I'm really glad to be back and I'm doing some pretty cool stuff right now, like programming uh, Reyna's attacks in, actually. We got uh, we got some good variety and, you know, did a little bit of managing like DPS to make sure that like completing a combo is better. Nothing hurts me more with, like like watching an Ocarina of Time speed run and they don't walk, they like roll backwards or like jump sideways because that's faster than you're walking forward or they duck and attack that way because that's the highest dps and things like that it's like man if if you're making cool animations they should be the best moves and you should like want to achieve them anyway so getting all my ducks in a row for that sort of thing and working on the game feel of that right now so it's really really quite cool um hopefully i can give you an update on sort of the results, you know, next time. Right now, I haven't done, like, a whole bunch of the payoff stuff yet because it's things like I'm handling input buffering, for example. So you can, like, Guacamelee is a good example. In Guacamelee, if you jump, on your way down, you can input another, like, you can release and then input another jump. And as soon as your character hits the ground, they'll take off right away again. That's input buffering. And I want to do that on attacks just to uh, hopefully give it a feeling of smoothness. We'll see how it goes. That's a feel thing anyway. Uh, there's also been some really good progress on the story writing front. I, of course, have like all these outlines and we've got all of these like Scrivener files, like specifying like who this person is and like just sort of establishing the cohesiveness of the world, but some decent work's been done on the words that will appear on screen. So that's really exciting. And that's pretty much it. It's a short one. It'd be cool if I had some other game develop -y sort of thing to talk about, but I got nothing right now. We talked about input buffering. I mean, we're just doing Gal Civ 3. Anyway, I'm able to do all of these things because of the support I get through this YouTube channel, both directly by, I guess it's kind of indirectly, but through the ads that run on it. And I know ads suck, but they took over the world and they let me pay people to do art for a game. So that's pretty cool. And they let me buy games to Let's Play. I still don't really like asking too many developers for games. That's like something you can... Like PewDiePie, I'm sure, can, can have anyone say yes to him. But uh, like if it's an indie dev or whatever, like I want to actually give them money both to get rid of the um, 
accountability problems where it's like, hey, they gave me something, maybe I owe them something in return. We can circumvent that whole issue. And I mean, a lot of those indie devs need the money. So hint, hint. <laughs> anyway, the support I get through the channel and through Patreon both make a really big difference uh, to me personally. And if you're able to help out and you're interested in it, that'd be super cool. If not, I totally understand. Just being part of the channel helps a lot too. I make these videos, like my motivation was actually never to make money, which is a weird thing to say as I ask for money, but it's always been kind of about, I just like games and I like talking games and I found a lot of comfort from Let's Playing one time where I was really sick and bedridden for several weeks. The only time in my life I've ever been really sick and I couldn't even get out of bed to play a video game. I couldn't actually like operate at that physical capacity, but I was able to watch a Let's Play and that like really, I don't know, made me appreciate them. And now like that's why I'm doing it. So. I hope I can give you guys some of that satisfaction and thanks for being part of the channel. Thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you all in the next Let's Play.